Hi guys, Alan Sadows from Brewfit here today to talk to you about the installation service cleaning of the uh, Linder 155K units. Units are very heavy at 43 kilograms, so it's a two person lift, one person per handle. Take out of the box, nice and neatly up onto the carling plinth. Uh, supplied with the unit is a drip tray that will be supplied with some laser tape protect the film over the front, that can be, just be taken off with your nail. You'll also get a couple of taps, uh, C-spanner to attach the taps to the unit. Fittings required, standard Molson Coors Drumby Trilo uh, K-coupler and uh, some pipe work. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the taps, we're going to put those in the flow restrictor, the compensator in the uh, horizontal position. We're going to offer them up to the front of the unit, nice and level, and then we're just going to gently tighten the collar by hand so as we ensure that we don't cross thread it. We're only going to use one tap to physically dispense the beer but we'll put the second tap on anyway uh, just so as the machine looks the part. Again gently finger and thumb and then with the C-spanner log into one of the uh, positions and just gently anti-clockwise just snip it up very gently. Also with just tightening the crowns the bottom one goes Clockwise, likewise on the flow restrictor, just tighten that clockwise. You will be supplied with the calling flag handles, standard calling flag handles. In this case, we're just using the uh, Linda ones that were in the box. But they, uh, they attach in exactly the same manner. They just screw on clockwise. Just nip up again by hand, it doesn't need to be uh, too tight. So that's the, uh, the taps on. We've got the drip tray located to the front of the unit. Just going to set up the, uh, the keg coupler with the fittings, uh, uh, pipework and uh, keg coupler. As the unit is supplied with an integral air uh, compressor, you don't actually need a bottle of gas. What we'll do is, it's a 5 16th push fitting, so to increase the size to the standard 3 8th of an inch pipework, we'll just insert uh, a John Guest enlarger that pushes gently into the air compressor. Uh, you won't be able to get that wrong because the, the product lines are of a larger 3 8th of an inch. So that pushes in gently. Then we'll take the blue pipe and we will push that in. Again, that sits in. Nice positive feel as it clicks in. On this occasion, we will use the left hand tap as we look at it from the rear of the machine. So this will be the left hand fitting. And accordingly, if we were using the right hand tap, we would use the right hand fitting. Taking the uh, Grundy coupler, we take the fittings, the product one, on top, and again, just gently by hand, and that can be nipped up with a pair of pliers, nothing too tight. Then, really, very important, gas fitting with a non-return valve, little black rubber boot, and that will insert in the same manner, and just screw on gently making sure not to cross thread it and again that will be nipped up with a pair of pliers. As with all keg couplers product always goes into the top gas or air goes into the side. So that's all the uh, components installed on the machine we can now connect the machine to the main supply we can switch the machine on at the front zero being off, seven being the coldest setting. So if we turn that round, seven, the machine's just kicked in, as you can hear. That will run for probably around five minutes to come down to temperature. As I say, seven is the coldest setting. So we can hear the refrigeration deck running. If we were to look to the rear of the machine, we can see the fans spinning. That tells us, even though we may not be able to hear, that the, the machine is currently running to bring down the temperature. What we can also do while we're waiting on that is we can connect the keg coupler. Handle up, attaching to our keg. Now we should say the keg which should be brought up before maybe one or two hours beforehand from a chilled cellar, an 11 to 13 degrees cellar. The, the, the plinth itself and the unit can be brought up three, four hours in advance, but the keg ideally we would like to bring up maybe one or two hours beforehand. So try and keep it as physically cold as possible. The reason we're doing that is to give the machine the best chance uh, for, for performance. As you can hear, the machine has just kicked out, so that was only a few moments. Uh, the fan has stopped spinning, so we know that it's ready to go.
we're just going to attach the keg coupler now to the keg. On, third of a turn, handle down, lock in place. We can switch the air compressor on now. As you can hear, the air compressor is running. That is pressurizing the keg to push the beer up to the back of the unit. Our compressor's just kicked out, so we know that the keg is now compressed. The unit has stopped running, so we know the refrigeration system's ready to pour through. The compensator or flow restrictor on the side of the tap adjusts the speed of dispense. Uh, 11 o'clock position would physically be off, and down at 7 would be the fastest. So we're probably going to start somewhere between the uh, 10 and the 11 o'clock position to pull the, uh, the beer through. Again, just using a thumb, we can just manipulate the lever just to get the speed right. The beer's just starting to pour through, pull through. So the machine is kicked back in, we've pulled a pint or two of the beer through, it's come through as foam and froth. We've adjusted the speed, we're just going to wait for the machine to kick off in a few moments and then we'll pull the first pint. At the 7 degree setting, if we, pull the, if we use a keg from a 12, 13 degree cellar, we can expect extra cold temperatures below 5 degrees. That's why it's very important to bring the keg up from a chilled cellar one or two hours before you need it. But as mentioned, you have the plinth and the machine in position beforehand, uh, located within two meters of a plug socket. As you can see, the machine has the second pint has dispensed in the super chill territory at 1.7 degrees centigrade, 1.6. Cheers.